Okay. Hi. <laughs> My name is Alexandre Bourget. I am a director of development at savoirfairelinux.com, or anyway. And I'm going to present you today the Web Server Gateway Interface, also known as WSGI, which is PEP333. So what's, well, we'll see what is it, then what does it look like, and we'll have a quick demo. So what's WSGI? Maybe some people remember CGI or fast CGI or something like that. WSGI is like the Java servlet of Python, so a standard way to deploy web application, and it's a kind of a web server standard. So first of all, so that's a bit of the flow here. We have an Apache server or IIS or other stuff with a, a module that supports WSGI, which is going to run at startup a Python interpreter and run your program, which hosts which has your application inside. And it's going to loop and wait, uh, unlike CGI, which is going to uh, spawn a new process uh, every request. And now we have a little user there that's going to try to get something, and it's going to get dropped through Apache in your uh, ask a query. And the mod WSGI is going to knock here <coughs> and call the WSGI application as some <coughs> Python code. So the app here is going to be an object. It's going to create that environ vi variable. It's a dictionary similar to a CGI dictionary. And then it's going to call, wait for the response, and send it back to the user, which is going to be very happy. OK. So what does it look like? So it has three modes. First of all, an application mode. Of course, that's a sam the simplest application, the hello world. So it's just going to send out the headers with the, request, uh, the, the response here. And it's a generator. It accepts two positional arguments, environ and start response. This one holds all the data like uh, with a path requested or in the query string and the version of the server and stuff like that. All right, so we'll see that right after. And of course, it should do something. And this returns a generator. Okay, so that's an example environment dictionary. You'll have a method here, here and uh, well, uh, that uh, a file-like object to feed everything that was posted, like an upload or stuff like that. Okay, second part, the server, which is like well, for the example this one here and is responsible to create that environment and pass it on to the Python application, uh, everything wrapped into a, a good Python code. Of course, deal with the response, send it back through sockets and stuff like that. And some sweetness, middleware. So that's the power here that um, <coughs> WSGI gives us. It's reusability. We can use standard stuff, just like servlets, and uh, plug into our application like, like this. So this here is the middleware because it acts as a server to this application and acts as an application here and it's going to be a bit like a decorator too because it, it can or cannot, if it will, uh, not call this one if it can handle, for example, slash dab in the web server, which we'll see right after. <coughs> so it can call it like that. That's why it can act before, after mangling the response or stuff like that. <coughs> okay. So for example, my application has a stack, that's a stack here, a session handler, and we'll have <coughs> the response, the, someone calls getting something, first of all, goes through error, middleware, does nothing, just pass on the request. Session is going to add the session data to environment uh, dictionary. So that's how data get passes through uh, all the layers. And my app, whoop, is going to crash. I have an exception. So it goes through middleware here. That's an error. And it goes here. Well, this one just goes uh, through and <coughs> error middleware. We're going to create a beautiful error page and then send back the request here beautifully. And of course, we can also have some real-time answer and response and debugging over the web. Okay, so now let's have a little presentation. <coughs> so, for example, WSGI, da yeah, that's all right. <coughs> WSGI DAV, so you can go and grab it with uh, WSGI, you clone it or just easy install, okay, yeah, like you do with anything else. Then I have a sample of Pylon's application here. We're going <coughs> to put that slash DAV and send it to the controller slash DAV, okay? So let me just paste that code here. We're going to save the file. <coughs> and then we're going to take the other part, which goes in the controller here, a WDAV controller. <coughs> so I'll go here. The, the application is in WSGI app, uh, my app controller. Is anyone just going to cat that in there? And notice here how I'm giving a config file to that WSGI app, and the slash is going to be mapped to a virtual or on drive file system in that directory here. Mm -hmm. And also have a slash sum TMP, which is going to point to slash. TMP on my drive, okay? So we're just going to enable the virtual environment. Whoops. And then we're going to run pylons. Okay, so it's running on the port 5000. Now let's look at that directory here. What's inside? <coughs> See, we have 
foobar, a PNG, and some file. What's the content in there? So we have some random content. Yep. <clears throat> okay. So now that's the application <clears throat> from the web server. And what if we launch Nautilus? Well, we have that slash dav, and we can access the PNG file and modify some content, add some stuff. And then, what about... So we have read write through the WSGI app. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty awesome. Is it? So you can configure and, and have that. Um, okay, now we're going to make the thing crash. So we're going to create here a controller called demo and edit that file, which is, it's been created. And we're going to add some crash code here. Raise runtime error, blah, stuff like that. Okay, and we're going to run the, uh, oops, run the server again. And let's go back here. We'll have demo index. Wow, it crashes. And look, that beautiful WSGI error handler over the web, which can interpret any Python code. And you can do introspection. What's in the request there? Oops, environ. And we can reassign, modify variables in there. So that's pretty much uh, the sweetness uh, middle where it can do for your web framework too, because you can plug it in, in any uh, WSGI. You have a whole bunch of WSGI stuff which do a whole bunch of things, like run a PHP application or serve files are dealing with byte range and stuff like that. Okay, any question? Okay, well, I think we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alex. We're going to have more time for the questions during the break. Yeah, exactly.